Well, it's now 3.15 in the morning and I'm at the airport. You can almost see that the flowers are there. See? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, yeah, 3.15 in the morning at the airport. And I just got, uh, just had this fare just, you know, randomly. Just a few minutes to three. And this guy came out to the airport. He's gonna be flying Alaska Air down to Los Angeles. And then from Los Angeles, he's gonna wait for 12 hours and then take another flight to Australia. Young guy. So he's he's got a long trip ahead of him. And I got just a little less than three hours left to work. It has been kind of on the slow side being a Monday, but there were times when I was busy. And so, I did a couple drug runs. Got this regular customer who keeps calling me to go do drug runs. And what else? Now I've just been busy enough and I've been watching some videos and I guess it kept me entertained in between the times when I was busy. Maybe now in the morning there will be nothing left to do. Maybe there's going to be nothing going on. I don't know. The one thing is that I've only had one cash paying customer for $15. And I had another customer who tipped me two toonies. So for the whole night, Everyone's been paying with credit cards and debit cards. And no one has paid me in cash except for that one guy. And the one guy who gave me a cash tip. Over $200. Over $200 in, in Iraq. Well, hopefully the $19 will be enough to buy all the gas I burned tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. This is the, well, it's the Monday segment, but it's the Tuesday, early Tuesday morning of Taxi Vlog 510. I just dropped off out here at the airport and it shows $53 on the meter, and I got $60 for this one. Had a very enjoyable conversation with a gentleman who was also originally from Montreal, and who now travels the world and stuff. And let me just turn the, make it a little lighter and brighter. And I think we've got a problem with fogging up. I think we're fogging up. Let's let's unfog. It's funny. The window was not fogging up at all when uh, when we were driving out here. But now that we're out here, it's, it's fogging up. This night was really, really good at the beginning. I had um, a lot of business at the beginning. Uh, I think I made $80 in my first couple hours. I got my lease on in no time. By the time it was midnight, I had, uh, I had about 160, 170 on, which is just phenomenal. And then, of course, the morning sort of slowed down and 
there was a while there between, I guess, one and three where I was quite, or let's say 12 and two where I was quite busy. And after two, it just quieted right down and there was nothing going on anymore. So it got quiet there for a bit. And uh, now, I uh, got one, I, I went to sleep. I, I watched an old movie. I, I caught up on my YouTube, completely caught up. And I watched an old movie. And uh, and while watching this old movie, I fell asleep. Now, I think I tried to watch this old movie once before. It was an old film noir thing from the 40s. Uh, on YouTube, naturally. It was called Jigsaw. I think I may have watched it. Fallen asleep watching it uh, more than one time. But I got back to it and started watching that. And now, uh, when I woke up, I was sent uh, to an address, but that was cancelled. And uh, I didn't end up going there because it was cancelled. Now I got sent uh, to this other address and uh, brought this guy out here to the airport and got $60 for my trouble. Now we're leaving the airport and it's raining and it's becoming daylight a little bit. The sky is getting a little lighter than it was before, but you probably can't see it on this, uh, on this video. Okay. So, I'm going to get back on the highway and back into town. And I uh, still got another hour and a half to go. And maybe something will happen. Last night was great. I ended up with like three, over 300. I think I might be in the high twos at this point in time with this $60 fare. Anyway, talk to you sooner. And again, we're at the airport. And this time you can see the flowers. And this was another one, you know, I just got back into town and I had quite a bit of cash on me so I went to the bank to drop it off I dropped some cash off at the bank and after doing that I went back to my favorite spot uh, to get Wi-Fi and just as soon as I had uh, found the place in the movie where I seem to have left off. That's when I got sent on another call that brought me out here to the airport again. So this is the second time I get to the airport on a Wednesday morning. That would be the end of the Tuesday night shift of this week of taxi vlog. 510 is it 510 or 511 already something like that well it's uh, morning it's 447 a.m. on a Thursday um, it was kind of slow last night but I got a lot of trips or I got longer trips I got a few longer trips and you know instead of doing eight or nine dollars it's like 25 and 30 and they add up yeah. and so it slowed down in the morning hours quite a bit there was a while there where I was getting one trip an hour I think there was even one time where I waited two hours for a trip. 
And then when you don't want it to be so busy, then you get calls. And instead of being able to fall asleep, I have to go and pick somebody up. That's where I'm at right now. I'm not picking anybody up right now. But I'm, uh, but I'm um, sleepy. I guess I could hang on for another hour or so. That's when my shift officially ends. And traffic lights from hell down here. Uh, you gotta stop at everyone. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can go out now for a while before we gotta stop. Passing through downtown, whichever direction it is, a hassle. But I think I've picked the right path this time. I'm sorry, I don't have much energy this morning to put into this vlog. I was yawning and my eyes are half closing. Uh, be nice to get home and have something to eat. Have a couple drinks and go to sleep. I caught up on YouTube. I'm actually getting into my watch later lists. Um, there's some old movies on there that, that that I'm watching. And when I say old movies, I'm talking, you know, 40s and 50s kind of thing. Really old movies. Mm. So, yeah... Not much else to say. I've got about 250 on. And did I mention that one of my regular customers who runs a tab paid me a chunk today? Or tonight? And she says she's going to have more for me later this week. So that's good. That means I can catch up on stuff before I take some time off um, just first week of July I'll be off anyway I, um, yeah I'll be back oh here we are again it is now 417 in the morning and we are leaving the airport just dropped off a customer here and uh, I've got uh, over 300 on right now I've got over 300 on and it's just after 4 o'clock I have had some incredible luck tonight I've taken there was a time where I was sent to the McDonald's on the corner from where I usually hang out and I drove these two girls out to the Western communities and while I was in the Western communities I had another call out there to go pick some other girl up and she went all the way down to James Bay for $40 it was just great did another drug run and uh, now I came out to the airport so it has been a very good night I cannot complain about any of it I will be, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna go good. Gonna go very good. And now it's almost daylight. You can sort of see daylight in the distance there. Um, what else happened? It was just a very good night. I just had very good luck. There was one time I think between 2 and 3 where I went to sleep for a short time where nothing was happening but the rest of it was uh, it was easy going and I wasn't really rushed but there was always something to do if that makes any kind of sense yeah you can see that sliver of daylight there beneath the ground and beneath the clouds and be between the ground and the clouds yeah now we got a roundabout right here get around the roundabout useless thing okay talk to you sooner 
it's uh, nine o'clock. My shift starts at six. I slept in right through my alarm. So now I'm walking to work about two and a half hours later than I usually do. But I look at it this way. What is two and a half hours in a 60 hour week? Not much. Anyways, I everything that I make tonight goes straight in my pocket except for the fuel bill because I've got more interacts by far than I need to pay the lease on the car. So this will be my last night of the week and I'm taking a vacation in a couple of weeks because I need it. I am tired. I need to just relax and do something besides work. Do something besides pound pavement and wait for traffic lights to change. So that's where I'm at right now and of course the car is there waiting for me. Yeah. I don't feel bad. I must have needed to sleep if I slept right through my alarm. I guess the alarm was white noise because my, uh, I had the air conditioner going and the air conditioner was white noise and I slept right through it. It's kind of warm this evening. Uh, they told me that the weekend is going to be a hot one. So I'm ready for that. Anyway, I'll let you know how things went by the end of the shift. Well, it's just after 6 in the morning. I've got uh, well over 300 on. And I might as well point this outside of the car like this. Well, where is that camera turning thing? Crap, 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 crap. Where's that camera turning thing? Uh, shit. Well, it's uh, just after 6 in the morning. And uh, I worked hard between uh, 6 and uh, Actually, between nine. Nine is when I started, and I worked hard. And this is not bright enough. There, that's better. Okay. I started at nine. I worked solid until one, two o'clock. Two o'clock, I finally had a break. And then I got a call to pick up someone to do a drug run so we went and did a drug run and oh that's bright that's really bright that is super bright Let's see if I can turn the brightness down a little bit there we go super bright and I did a drug run and then I had a couple other fares I had a couple longer ones and went uh, out of town and when I was out of town they tried to send me much farther out of town to get another call and I refused to do it and then I got another call from my friend who wanted to, me to do another drug run okay so I did a drug run now I'm done it's after 6 I just gotta add up the Interax wash the car I think I'll wash the car first because I'm close to the car wash and then once the car is washed, I will add up the Interax, fuel up, or fuel up and then add up the Interax and go home. Yep. Not much else to say. It was fairly busy for the nine hours I was out there. The last, uh, the call before the last one, I went, I even went to sleep. But there was nothing happening for about an hour. Got a green light here. What do you know? Let's take it. Well, I hope yours is better than mine.